Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the What Sold Sunday on a Monday. Man, has it been a Monday. You know what? <laughs> every Monday. Every Monday. Seems like we say it every single time, but... Mojo's here. That's right. Hey. Say hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. He's gonna have to do the his standard holo. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new here, uh, Mojo is our 21-year-old cat. Yes. He loves you too. See? Just, just <laughs> letting everybody know. All right. We had a good week this week. We did. Very productive weekend leading into it. So. <laughs> just get here, buddy. <laughs> we like, we're, we're like 98% done with the garage. So. Yeah. And we set up a testing station. If you sell electronics or are looking to start selling electronics, can't recommend it enough. Yeah. You need like a dedicated space with a bunch of power uh, outlets a good set of speakers a tv that's just that stays that you can plug all your components into so that's kind of what i've got going on out there and it's great yeah he's listed 30 electronicals over the last two days yeah and guess what a couple of them have already sold yes and our sales numbers are reflective of such. yes so let's dive right in we're going to start with poshmark like we do every week uh, first sale was a pair of O'Neill board shorts in November. Go figure. Hey, I think it's good. Yeah, right? 17 bucks for these. Uh, and we probably picked them up for a dollar, so out of here. Like, where else are you going to get board shorts in the middle of the winter, right? Exactly right. And some people need them. Hey, I am here for it. Yeah, people go on vacations. <laughs> Not us, but people. Um, this is a pair of Calia by Carrie Underwood leggings. They sold for 18 bucks. Do not recommend it anymore. Not anymore. They sell them at Dick's or something? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Eh. All right. Mark by Mark Jacobs. Wide leg dress jeans sold for 19 These were dollar pants. Yes. And I imagine that they were probably in our inventory for quite some time. Because yes. we're selling a lot of older stuff on Poshmark. Mm-hmm. So. Because we're relisting. Yes. Funny how that works. Mm -hmm. Eh, sort of, kind of. All right, you sold your Clueless skirt from ASOS for 30 bucks. Yes, it was new with tags. All right, yeah. It's pretty good for ASOS. It's yeah. Kind of like um, Forever 21, like that kind of tier. To me, it is. For sure, yeah. I mean, if you find, I think for us, ASOS will usually pass on it unless we find it new with tags. But yeah, you do you. I mean, it's all about the title and the description of this. I could have put yellow plaid skirt, but, the, you know. Mm -hmm. It looked like Cher's skirt, so there we go. Got to put it in there. All right, this is a Care Bears uh, Christmas ornament, 20 bucks. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, right. we sold 59 things this week. It, we got to roll. We got to roll, right? This is a Jack Victor uh, blue blazer in a size 40, 40 short. 40 short. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I was going to say small, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, 36 bucks for this guy. Eh. Fine. Fine. And this was like an early inventory number. Yeah, sure was. Great. And then we got two more on Posh. This is a Soft Surroundings uh, scoop top. Sold for 15 bucks. Uh, I need to make a mo I need to have a moment. Okay. You gotta be careful with Soft Surroundings. In my opinion, this is obviously our whole channel is our opinion. <laughs> the basics like this stuff will sit and you can get about 15 bucks for them eventually. It's not a brand to just go pick up everything. I think I said it in a video or two ago, the embroidered stuff does okay. Mm -hmm. The brand you really want that's similar to this is Sundance. It's right. worth way more. So Soft Surroundings is getting a little bit saturated and the basics, I, I just don't recommend them yeah. like this. Right. I just don't. Okay. That's me. Good tip. All right, last sale on Poshmark was this hot pink pair of current Elliott uh, corduroy pants. Remember I was on here last week like, don't buy colored pants. Well, apparently colors are... We sold all the colored pants. These went for 20, <laughs> tw 20 bucks. Told you not to listen to me. Don't do it. <laughs> Alright, and we're going to move on to eBay. And we're going to try to roll through these quickly. I'm going to do my best to leave out the junk. Alright, and why don't we clarify about the prices? Yes. So there was some confusion um, when I was reading off prices. I used to read off the total price that the buyer paid, including shipping and tax. Yeah. And then my screenshot only showed the price with the shipping separate. 
So, uh, so that's a little confusing. confusing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to try to be better. I'm going to switch it up. Switch it up. We're here for you. Thank you for whoever made that comment. It's very helpful. Right. Um, a Transformers pillow. <laughs> It was random. Right. Yeah, whatever. You know, had the Autobot logo on one side, Decepticon on the other side. It went for twenty four ninety nine. Yes. Right. I'm here for that. Uh, and you know, with the linens at thrift stores, you don't pay very much. That's true. Like a dollar or two or something. Oh, we have to tell you guys about our new purchase. We got a thing for the garage. What, we, we could link it. Oh, the thing. Yeah. We got this thing that heats all your items up to kill any bugs. Yeah. The we brain. haven't had any. Knock on wood. But I'm always worried about it. Yeah. Bringing stuff into our house. So now we put it in this thing with a zipper and it plugs in and then it heats it for eight hours. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Pretty sweet. Okay, so that's why I say that because of the linens and pillows. I get kind of like... Skeeved out? Yeah, normally, you, can, <laughs> you know, in Texas you can leave them in the car and they get hot. Yeah. But we used to do that, but now it's like not that hot. Right. Not hot. Not hot. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we made it. We got this thing. It's 200 bucks. Highly recommend. Yes. I've already used it multiple times. Okay. Um, this is Department 56 with the box and the styrofoam, which is the only way I recommend picking this stuff up. I mean, if you want to try packing up Department 56 stuff on its own, good luck to you. Uh, this was the Raising the Flag at the North Pole, and it went for twenty three ninety five. dollars Sweet. We normally, I don't know about your Goodwills, we normally get it about two bucks, so that's yeah, good. this was that like two ninety nine, one ninety nine, something, it was a little one, so. Mm -hmm. All right, this is, um, I would call this a new Bolo brand. What do, I, what do you think? Bolo! We need a sound effect. A what? Sound effect. Sound effect. Go we'll, on. We'll work on that. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, God. This is a cricket polo shirt, and that's C-R-I-Q-U-E-T. Um, I first, I found one of these for the very first time, uh, maybe a couple of months ago, listed it and it sold pretty quick. And then we found like eight of them at, uh, at a thrift and I grabbed them all, listed them all and they're starting to sell. So this one went, uh, for $16.99 cause it had a flaw on the bottom of it. Otherwise they go for about 25 to 30 bucks. So be on the lookout for that brand of polo shirt. Polo. Right. Okay, this is a Foot Joy um, windbreaker for ladies, twenty nine ninety nine with shipping. Nice. Yeah, right? Foot Joy was supposed to be hot, but I, I just don't have that much luck with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I think we got it for a dollar. I think you Love right. a dollar day. I know, right? It's the best. Okay. Uh, this sold, I think, the same day we listed it. It was a Funko Rock Candy um, Aurora figure. This was like a comfy princess, right? <laughs> <laughs> Would you call me? Uh huh, a comfy princess. I feel like a comfy princess today. Forty four ninety nine for this guy. That's great. Like, uh, like literally immediately sold. So. And we bought this at the Goodwill. We did buy this at so the Goodwill. So they do some. I don't know where this stuff came from at the Goodwill, but. We do find a lot of new tags in box. Like we have, you'll see some Skylander stuff we found at the Goodwill. We found this at the Goodwill. Yeah. Just keep your eyes peeled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We finally got rid of the giant blue sleeping bag. I was about to give it away. <laughs> give it away now. Yeah. This thing was sitting mm -mm. In, totally in the way for weeks. Uh, forty nine ninety nine for this thing. Yes. Yes. And I wrapped it up real, real tight, stretch wrapped it, stuffed it into a giant Amazon poly mailer. Gone. Out of here. Gone. All right, that was a junk bag. Uh, this is a coffee mug. There was a set of four. We got all four, um, and we're selling them individually. Why not? Uh, it's called Out of Hand from Amy Hetrick. This one sold for $21. That's great. You have to say exact twenty nine ninety nine. Seriously. Sorry. Jokes, uh. jokes, jokes. So that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. We've had these four coffee mugs forever, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they Two started selling. Two of them sold. Bam, bam, right out. Yeah. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, Amy mentioned the Skylanders a couple of seconds ago, and here it is, fifty three ninety four. Chop chop. This was a. Uh, a, spare, a special one, 
Did you Ooh. say asparagus? Asparagus. A special <laughs> one. <laughs> um, I have no idea what a Skylander even is. We don't know. I just know it's a video game and you... It's a video game? I thought it was a show. No, it's a video game. We have no idea. We don't care. If it has a barcode, we'll sell it. Yeah. This one had a box and it was sparkly and it looked special and there you go. Fifty three ninety four. That's the biggest piece of advice I could give you is if you have your phone with you and you're at a thrift store and they have service, just scan barcodes. You don't have to be... Everyone's like, you have to be an expert. I don't believe that. If it's new in the box, no, you don't. Yeah, if it has a barcode, scan it and flip over to Solds. And then, hey. We do it every single week. We sell things we don't... We literally pack it up and we're like, what is this? <laughs> we don't have to know what it is. Don't have to know. Comp it. Makes it so easy. God. Oh, you got this. I got this. The Betsy Johnson scarf. You had a scarf moment. So this was during my... I don't, I don't know. I just went in... I was like, there's good scarves here. I got like seven that day. Uh, twenty one ninety four for this thing. People love a Betsy Johnson. It's new attacks too, right? I think it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Yeah. If, uh, I recommend the new attacks, Betsy Johnson. But don't pay up. Yeah. Because like 22 bucks. Yeah. Sorry, I rounded. Sorry. Oh. oh. This was from the bins. They this saw this. This was from the bins. Hall. The 25-inch Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. $52. Yes. Uh, so, the new Ghostbusters just came out. We oh. probably could have probably could have made more on it, but we have another Stay Puffed. We should raise we have a the little price. One, a little Stay Puffed. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's another hot tip. Right. We're full of hot tips tonight. Is to pay attention to pop culture because there's a reason that's sold. I didn't even think about it. Mm -hmm. And then also pay attention to the clothes that the people in your shows are wearing. I, I'm all over that with Succession right now. I have a Carolina, Carolina Herrera suit that looks just like Shiv's suit in Succession. It does look a lot like Yeah, it. so I'm gonna be putting that in the description. Also, we're watching Yellowstone and they've got some pretty key fashion moments there with Beth. So like, your shows, that's my, that's my hot tip. Be, yeah, watch out for that stuff. All right, we were talking about electronics. I listed a whole bunch and we sold a whole bunch. First one was a Sony DVP-NC85H, hmm? five disc DVD changer. You guys remember these? They had the big plate that comes out and you put your five discs. I remember it for CDs, style. but like DVDs. Yeah, they had them for DVD as well. But like, you're just like, I just want to get up and put in a new DVD. Right. Okay. And it does CDs also, so you can, okay. you know, whatever. So in my uneducated in this, in this, arena mm -hmm. i would think who wants a five disc cd changer like nobody a lot of people they do 79.99 and we find these i say we yeah. okay i'm gonna guess we have like 10 of these like at any uh, given point maybe like we just bought one today yeah we did so they're always at the thrift <laughs> and people buy them 80 dollars <laughs> yep girl yep okay yep. yep you just gotta test it gotta test it you love testing it that's my favorite he gets all his favorites in there. He's having a little jam session when I go in the garage. I'm like, okay. The one I bought today is hooked up and it's playing music in the garage right now. All right. All right. The moths are jamming. Don't say um, that. This was, let's see, Free People Intimately. Why do you skip this one? Oh, oh, we'll go back. I'll Can't go back to that. Yeah. Uh, twenty four ninety nine. Again, we sell Free People all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one was new with tags, 25 bucks. As 20, long as you don't overprice, that right? stuff will move. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the one I skipped, it was the Clarisonic Mia 2 skin cleaning system with case and an extra brush head. We also found this at the Goodwill, 48 bucks. They don't make the Clarisonic anymore and some people love it. So ah. if you can find them, the key to this was it had a brush head that was brand new in the box. You don't want to sell yeah. a nasty brush head. No, that's nasty. It's nasty. You don't want to do that. So we're able to find the whole little kit and caboodle, if right. you know what I mean. Okay, more Department 56. That Christmas stuff, guys, it is starting to go. It's almost too late. Almost too late to get it listed. Uh, this was Frosty Playground. Okay, fifty two ninety four for this. Boom. Nice. The bigger the stuff sells for more money. Totally. Oh, uh, this one. Man. All right, we got a sob story on this one, and we fell for it. <laughs> this was a dandy Lone Ranger hobby horse on a stick, and it was animated. Like, it sang the whole song, and his head went like this. 
Um, so the lady that bought it sent us a picture. She had one, and her kids her kids had one, and they broke it. His sent head us the was picture not... of the broken head. So we sold this for fifty seven ninety nine, um, which was probably about half of what we had it listed for. Yeah, but we had had it for a long time. Yeah. Also, when we packed it up, it was singing in the box, and we couldn't stop it. <laughs> yeah, it was very awkward to ship. I had to Frankenbox two large uh, postal service priority mailboxes together. I bet it sang the whole way to its destination. Why is this coming up now? I There's don't know. Some glitches. It's weird. There's glitches. That on was eBay. last week. I know. All right, moving on. We didn't talk about this this guy, right? The Santa Squishmallow. Nope. Nope. Nineteen ninety nine for the twelve inch Squishmallow. So they're still moving. There we go. All right. What do we have here? That was junk, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And an iRobot. Roomba robot vacuum cleaner home base. Without Not the vacuum. the vacuum, just the home base part. Thirty nine ninety four. That's amazing. We paid two dollars for this at the Goodwill. Yep. It didn't have the vacuum. Who else is gonna buy this besides a reseller? <laughs> so that those are the things we look for. Yeah. Random battery chargers, random things remotes, that kind yeah, of stuff. Power supplies, that kind of stuff. Be you know, because people lose it or like you know, you've some. How many times you've been on a trip? You take your laptop, you're working on something in the hotel room, pack everything up, you leave the power supply. Every time. Oh man. Famous for it. Right. Yeah, I was thinking that somebody maybe wanted an because you wouldn't lose your power supply for a Roomba, but like maybe on another floor you want to, you know, you bring it upstairs and you wanted to charge it to do the upstairs, mm -hmm. and then it'd be nice to have another one if you extra home base, right? Yes. Yeah, All right, we got a new with tags, Vineyard Vines. Chase Bank branded tie, thirteen ninety nine. It was brand new with tags, and we sold it in like two hours. Some bro that works at Chase was like, I need that tie. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, I finally sold a wristwatch. I was on a little wristwatch kick there, where I was finding good or semi-good wristwatches. Yeah. Uh, this was a Citizen Echo Drive men's watch, sold for fifty eight ninety nine. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm sure I picked it up for like six bucks or something. Yeah. Dan's not afraid to go in the case. No. Nope. I'm afraid. <laughs> he right. will look it up in front of the employee. I die. Yeah, I no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, can I see that? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> no shame. No. No. Why? Why you gotta be ashamed? Uh, I don't know. I have this fear of them <laughs> judging me or something. Whatever. All right, uh, remember that cricket polo shirt? Sure Here's do. another one. This one was not flawed, and it sold for $44.94. That's See, great. that's what we're talking about. It's a good one. We have like six more. <laughs> okay, we got a pair of DKNY women's black drawstring pants. $25.49 for these. Anytime you see pants in our what's old and they're like rando, it's a dollar day pant. Yes. I mean, we're not paying more than a dollar for any kind of pant unless it's like super designer. But but to say, if you do have a dollar day, that's where your money's best spent. Pants and coats. For sure. And that's, what, that's all we buy. We don't buy shirts on dollar day pretty much ever. We buy sometimes shoes if we can find them, but we really can't. So we yeah. go straight for the pants and the shorts. Those kind of because they're quick to list. Yeah. So like that DKNY pair at pants took us maybe thirty seconds to photograph. Yeah. And we could they could have sent me an offer for eight dollars and I would have taken it <laughs> because we paid a dollar right. So it's like those kind of filler items that keep us going on busy days. For sure. For sure. All right. This is a pair of super awesome BCBG Max Azria uh, black studded boots yes. or ankle boots. They sold for $208.99. The lesson here is style. First of all, I wouldn't normally pick up BCBG, but these were amazing. <laughs> and we hauled them, so yep. some of you probably saw it. And they were just like these, I said they were John Leguizamo boots. Like they were super cool studded. I mean, just stunning boots. Yep. And here's the other lesson. So buy it based on style, but also we had them listed at 300 and somebody offered 200 but we paid six ninety nine, so two hundreds real great. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes, thank you very much. 
<laughs> Sold. It's a numbers game, guys. Don't hold out when when there's hundreds of dollars. Yeah. I could have lost the sale. I mean, maybe I could have gotten 25 more or 50 more. Or maybe I could have waited a year and gotten 100 more. But you know what? They're off to a new home that gives us more room and more capital to buy more stuff. Exactly right. Exactly right. Okay, this is an Eileen Fisher merino wool sweater that sold for 26. Nice. Yeah, that's not bad. pretty normal for yeah. Eileen for a basic like that. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we sold the creepy creepy baby. If you're in our Facebook group, there's a video in our Facebook group of this creepy baby. Uh, this is Love a Bow from Love a Bella. It's Love a Out of Here. Yeah, gone. 62.99 and I'm thrilled. This Bye. thing was freaky. Dan put batteries in it and it looked up at him and went, Dada. I was like, ha ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, if you can find these yeah. though, I the comps showed that the boy was more valuable than the girl. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably because they made less of him, right? Don't get me started right mm -hmm. now. Anyway, we had the boy. It was worth We had a baby, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> we had a baby, it's a boy. <laughs> Hey, that was funny. Sitting yes. over there judging. Uh, this pair of Joe's Joe's jeans, uh, petite skinny fit, sold for twenty two ninety nine. Dollar pants. Dollar pants. Uh, you guys getting into the plush game? Jelly Cat is probably our favorite plush brand to find because I, I I find it everywhere. He found a new Tags Jelly Cat at the. Bins. I did. We have I a bins haul coming up. Coming up. Stay tuned. But I did. I was like, hey, that's a jelly. Okay, new attack jelly cat. At the bins. I'll Meaning take it. he either got lucky and it was a raw donation or it went all the way through the Goodwill system and ended up at the bins. I can't, either way, it's magic. So yeah, if you guys are sleeping on jelly cat, stop sleeping on jelly cat. Don't yell at that paypal. I'm Sorry for yelling. He gets uh, real excited about Jelly Cat. This is a 16-inch Dalmatian. His name was Mary Day. He was retired in 2011. Uh, the older retired ones are obviously going to bring more money. Uh, this one sold for $49.94. Wow. That's right. Wow. I know, right? And I don't wow. think he was even new with tags. So... Those old jelly cats, man. There's like collector groups on Facebook. It's Dan's in all of them. Are they buy sell do. in there? Can you sell them in yeah. there? Well, why don't you cross list, buddy? I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is another one of those out of hand coffee mugs. This is out of hand. It's out of hand. Twenty eight <laughs> ninety four. Yes. For one mug. We got two more. I so know. we said we're not gonna pick up any more brick bowls. But this would be an exception. If you look at the comps and you can make 30 bucks a mug, okay, fine, we can package that up and work with it. Right. But most coffee mugs... And and know that they're going to cost you anywhere between, I mean, nine fifty on the cheap side to $14 to ship probably. Yep. To depending. ship it properly, yeah. Yeah. Because you got to bubble wrap it and then you need a box large enough and then you're like, you know. So <laughs> we're trying to back off the coffee mug train. Yeah rough yeah got but we're lot. learning we are we got a lot to go through but learn from us yep <laughs> um this is a glass blender jar for a cuisinart blender this is a uh, six cup capacity uh, the part number was on there so real easy to list and these are i know it sold for 54.94 that's amazing. For Again, just the just the jar, the top, you know, with the lid. Who's no, gonna buy that? Somebody who's broke. Or... No, 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 no. Like at the thrift, when you're at the thrift, oh, and you're right. like, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna buy that because it's not a full blender. No, no, no. Those are the things you should buy because no one else is gonna buy them. Right. Often we find this kind of stuff like half off, like on the half off day, uh -huh. because no, no one's bought it for however many weeks because. Who wants half a blender? Yeah, and these kind of <laughs> accessories like blender parts and coffee maker parts are like. They are pretty easy flips on the resale market because chances are somebody's got one at home and they want an extra one or they broke it or it's discontinued and right. you can't get it from the manufacturer anymore. There's a, anyway. That's sold overnight. Millions of reasons. Yeah. Sold overnight. Yep. And it was so easy. We didn't, you don't even really have to do anything. Right. Dan put it in the dishwasher and then took a picture of it. <laughs> pretty much all I did, yep. 
All right. We sold this <clears throat> pair of Bowden pants for Again. the second time. This time they went for 18 bucks. Here's the deal. I'm going to start doing these were low rise and low rise is coming back. Okay, fine. But people wear a different size in low rise and we've had high waisted jeans for such a long time now and the waist size on most people, the high waisted jeans, your waist is smaller, the higher you go. Mm -hmm. And then if it's down around your hips, it's a bigger size. So we often get returns for low rise pants. We put in the inseam, we put in the rise, we put in the waist, we, we measure them. <laughs> but people don't understand that there's a different fit issue. Right. So I know that low rise is coming back. God help us all. I'm not gonna buy them anymore because we get returns on them for fit every time. I've said my piece. <laughs> See if you stick to it. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I tried it. Those were in my Goodwill pile and yep. someone ended up buying it because eBay relisted them on without my knowledge. <laughs> Man. I was about to donate them. Whoops. Okay. Like, oh God, dig them out of the pile yeah they sold all right this is a cobra 29 ltd cb radio that i uh, picked up on an auction niner and uh overpaid for because when i looked up comps you know it was for working ones and this one didn't have a wiring harness so i was not uh, there's no way i could hook it up and test it i just wanted you to like breaker breaker breaker, breaker one one nine <laughs> i wanted that but I no know. Uh, 3870 somebody paid for this and I'm happy to at least recoup the majority of what I paid for it. Oh, okay. So. Oh, this was a good one. Yes, this was a good one. This is a Jim Benton. It's Happy Bunny plush. You guys remember these stickers from the 90s and 2000s? I guess it was 2000s. I used to work at PacSun and we used to sell them. It would be like, you stink. And there was like a rabbit on it. <laughs> what is it? You suck. Yeah, something. It was something like, like that. Something that was mean. Uh, fifty three ninety nine for this. There were no comps anywhere, so I just priced yeah. it like, mm, I don't know, 50 bucks. And Rare. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more on the old eBay. This is a soft from Joa Open Cardigan, sold for thirty six ninety nine. Dollar cardigan. Yes. We do pick up sweaters sometimes. On the dollar day? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is a Mattel Rock'em Sock'em Robots that sold for twenty one twenty one. Do not recommend. Uh, I'm going to be shocked if we make any money on this thing. Yeah, well, first of all, we didn't know that they had, they remade these. Yep. This is a remake. Yep. It's not the OG. No. Nah. So it was a bad buy. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more electronics. Uh, overnight sale basically the Panasonic PVV 4022 VCR okay it's a VCR Panasonic VCR all you need to know check every Panasonic VCR you find this one sold for 6670 and I got it for three bucks and not all VCRs are created equal right Panasonic ones. so he listed like 10 VCRs and then I was watching the views come in and the Panasonic had way more views than like the RCAs and the Zeniths and everything. So mm -hmm. apparently people want Panasonic. People want the Panasonic. This guy really wants his Peter Miller shirt. He just made another offer. I saw on it. that. <laughs> <laughs> well then pay for it. I know, right? All right, a couple more. A vintage 1999 elephant Furby. I don't know how you know it's an elephant, but that's what it says. Non-working Furby sold for thirty-four ninety-nine. I love it. I know, right? Furbies. The working one sold for more, a little bit more, and he was creepy. Yeah, I don't care. We had a creepy baby, a creepy Furby. I don't care. I'll sell it. Sell, sell it all. All right, this sold super fast too, man. Overnight, I think. Uh, this was a huge power amp that I found at the Goodwill. I paid twenty-five bucks for it. Uh, it's Counterpoint Electronics Systems. SA12, it's a hybrid tube amp. Everyone's zoned out right now. Yeah, it's zoned. super heavy. Um, I wasn't really able to test it. Like if I was able to hook up a sort, an audio source to it and confirm that it really worked without any kind of buzz, I probably could have gotten close to $1,000 for it, I'm question sorry. mark. Cause it's, an, it's rare, it's an old piece of American made 
high-end audio equipment. Mm -hmm. So um, I listed it as is with the caveat that, it, hey, it turns on, the LED light turns from red to green, uh, and that's as far as I got. So I'm selling it as is, four parts. I have no idea if it works. And I was still able to get two ninety nine ninety five for it. Let's be clear, that includes the shipping that they paid. Yes. Because on these electronics, Dan inflates the shipping just to account for wherever they live or how much packing material. We inflate it quite a bit mm -hmm. uh, in accordance with comps. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. That was a great, great sale for the week. Yeah. And and you were a little bit... Let's just talk to them for a minute. You were a little bit like... Oh, like oh, when it sold, like... I had man. seller's remorse. Yeah. I did. But then I'm like, damn, we paid like... 10 bucks for that <laughs> we turned 10 bucks into 224 dollars profit that's what it ended up being okay all right profit 25 bucks but whatever oh well whatever it was when i did the ticket it was 224 dollars we made on that that's amazing pure profit that's great so and it was just sitting about there that. I, I walked into the good i saw it sitting in the middle of the, i was like oh that's something big and heavy and nice so i'm gonna check that out there you go i mean I'm happy with $200. So it, it's really hard sometimes when you have a high dollar item to actually, like I was saying about those boots, like to remove yourself from the situation and be like, I'm running a business here. Yeah. Where's the balance between giving your items away and actually making money? Right. So and turning 25 into 250 is, that's terrific. Overnight. Terrific. Literally within six hours or something. Yeah. And then we got one more. Last sale on the eBay was a pair of Good American Camo Jeans. Sold for forty four ninety nine. Boom. Pretty good week. That felt like like potentially in the running for best week ever. I think it might be. You'll, uh oh uh, you'll have to know. Okay. Here is the numbers. We sold fifty nine items. Golly, fifty nine that's I a know. lot. Jeez. And uh, okay, so in total sales yep. revenue. Should I wait? He's just gonna keep going. It's he loves this part of the video. <laughs> so proud. He's had a hand in this. Two thousand seven hundred and forty-two dollars and thirty-two cents. Did you say twenty-seven hundred dollars? I did. Man, I did. That is definitely our best week ever. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we've been working really hard, and we're trying to make it to six figures by the end of the year. Like, it's our huge, we're pushing so hard. We are listing the most valuable things we have. We set up the testing station. We're going to be doing mystery boxes this week. We are pushing it. Yep. We're trying to make 20 grand in before New Year's. What do we say? 100K by New Year's Day. Yes. That's what we're going for. 100K by New Year's Day. And so out of that, our total profit was $1,715.57. Yes. $1,700 is in our bank account. So that's like about $1,000 in fees, cost of goods. You guys know our, our cost of goods is really low. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about. And shipping. So you have to remember that. That, in, that total revenue is inflated a bit because right. eBay includes shipping in our cost. Yep. So, but once all that's taken out, once we have a level playing field, we put $1,700 in our bank this week. Selling uh, trash. It's not trash. <laughs> Stop saying that. I know. I need to get into the, <laughs> the headspace of like an entrepreneur, you know, yes. instead of being like, I'm selling trash because I'm unemployed. No. No. We're self-employed business people with an e-commerce store. There you go. <laughs> That's exactly right. And uh, if we can do it, you guys can do it too. You just gotta work it. You gotta hustle it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you guys were making hustle t shirts. Maybe check below. Maybe. I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna figure it out. Print on demand. Print on demand. Because y'all need them. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.